uh, really been here three months. Um, the purpose of this is really trying to help everybody get housing and keep those houses and get the government to actually cooperate without having to go through this this morning. Like we have to really prove the third time that we really need this stuff without happening to go to violence and stuff like that. So it is really trying to be a peaceful process this morning to try to stay somewhere. So we can at least wait like a little longer until we get housing. Breakfast oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm DJ, by the way. I'm with News to Share. People do have jobs. People are working. They can't afford housing and basic needs. Um, and when you tear this down, not only are you taking the basic needs of like medical, food, water, shelter, community away from the people here, but we serve like a five mile radius to the homeless population. Wow. wow. And like all the food that we have, like when we get an overabundance of like canned goods, produce, pasta, rice. We have we have um, connections with different or like we have connections with different organizations, and we'll say take all this food, feed whoever. You can bring it back here. You can feed the churches out in West Philadelphia that they service, or any other homeless communities. Wow. Wow. So we're servicing thousands of people. So anything like surplus, does it come back here, or so, is uh, it? So, or we just distribute or it out? Or you just distribute it there. Okay. So we're feeding thousands of people so when this is torn down not only are you taking away all the basic resources from the people of this encampment but you're taking away the food medical services from the people all in this area all the clothing donations go in here clothing, yeah. clothing is true. so that for the most part everybody has like what they need as far as clothing as well yeah. okay and um, Laundry service too? Yep. So, yeah, we have a group of people who come in twice a week, pick up and drop off. Well, so it's not, so it's it's definitely like... It's trashy, yes, because, you know, it's... People. Um, um, this is the medical tent. Um, I don't know what's inside. I don't ever... Yeah, I'm sure they here. pack up and take, a, take yeah. everything um, with them. There are people with diabetes, so they... Um, Insulin. We all carry Narcan, we did a Narcan training. So you guys have some structure here. They make it seem like it's just... A clusterfuck of exactly, stuff, of people and drugs uh, and violence. Um, I, I got approached by a security guard when I first yeah, came in. You know? Yeah, <laughs> and I told, like, my mom is in Florida. And, I, like, the first week I was like, I'm going to stay here. I just want to let you know what's happening, but, but I'm safe. And my mom was like, no, I don't know you this doesn't sound safe right. and i've become very close with a lot of the residents and one of the residents is just like laughing he was just like she's safe she's good we got her we'll protect her yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and i am more safe here than i am out in the city Ooh.
never great, bro. That word great, you gotta Thank you. It. That's like Thank you. Perfect. That's like How can we perfect. make something great that was never great to begin with? You would have to be perfect. America was never great. Great, great never greatness is like perfect, man. So, you know what I mean? Like, really decipher that shit, really. Let's, let's really get real here. Let's really get real here. And if we in historical moments, really think about this. This is quite ironic that this is popping like that. Quite ironic.